Welcome to Endoscopy on Air 2020. Watch Thomas Rösch treating a patient with Senka diverticulum using the new tunnel myotomy method. Hi again. So this is uh, our last case from Hamburg. It's a 75-year-old uh, gentleman with a small Senka diverticulum and uh, proximal dysphagia. So this examination uh, we do with a Fujifilm uh, scope. So here we have the Senka septum. See that? And on the left side is a relatively small diverticulum here. And the classical, there are also several set poem options. The classical version is to make an incision into the septum and then divide the muscular layer and then close. I would like to at least start with a combination. Um, so I do a septotomy of this one, of this septum. So maybe it's about two centimeters. And then I extend, that's at least the plan. If the patient stays fit under general anesthesia, uh, then I extend the myotomy in a type of a short tunnel distally. Also, you have many devices. Here is the so-called clutch cutter from Fujifilm, which we can rotate. Open. So, so I, is it open? Yes. Rotate back, 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 clo and close. It's only cutting at the inside with short bursts. So here is the beginning of the septotomy. And uh, close again. So we have to get, yes. So we're looking at the septum, how we divide it. That's why we have the cap. Open again, close. So we have to achieve a stable position. Open and close. So with the help of the cap, I go deeper and deeper and continue with the septotomy. Again, nice overview. Good. So now we check where we are. So we go into the diverticulum and see how far we are. There's still some way to go. Open. Close. Open. It's a little bit of bleeding. So the septotomy is progressing. You can see here there's still a little bit left. Here we see it. And uh, here is the muscular layer. So what we could do now is, in fact, we could focus on the muscularis layer. Maybe we take a different knife. We could continue with this one, but we take the dual knife. Or can I have a forceps? So I have to do hemostasis. We already have, let's say, two thirds of the septum divided. You see on the right side, you see the so let's see where the bleeding comes from. I think somewhere here. Yes, this looks better. Yeah, and if we have, if that's clear, then we can look into this septum with a scope and uh, continue. either with this scope or sometimes we use a smaller scope in order to not enlarge the channel too much. Here we have again a dual. We have again the, um, the muscular layer in the middle. Oops. Sorry. As you can see, so we will inject a little bit of fluid on both sides and cut the muscle deeper. So we do, we inject a little bit now. Stop. And then we cut. Here you see the blue submucosa. You see the muscularis in the middle. And we inject on this side as well, inject. Okay, stop. And then we, it, it's not us, no? We, we continue cutting the muscular layer a little bit deeper. 
So here we go down to the muscular layer. Again, wiggle the instrument in. Here we have the muscle. So inject. Stop. There's still some muscle to cut. Okay. Injecting a little bit, half a bit to stop, and then we cut to the to the left side. So we cut the muscular layer. Here's the submucosa. We cut deeper below the level of the diverticulum, as you can see here. There's still a big muscular layer, also here. Inject a little bit. Stop now. Stop. Here's the other side. So here we open this up. Again, muscular layer in the middle, see? So now you clearly see that we are deep in the, in the septum. On the right side, you see the upper end of the septum. In the middle, there is a submucosal tissue. And we are cutting the muscular layer alongside here. And here we have the muscular layer nicely in front of us. So you have to wait until you have this uh, picture. And here it gets smaller and smaller, submucosal tissue. I think this is probably the end of it, almost. Here on the left side is the remaining diverticulum. It's not very far to the bottom here. I think a little bit deeper here. We show you the first clip. We take a Microtech uh, big clip for the first one. Yeah, yellow clip. This ends uh, our procedure here, but we continue clipping because here we have this pocket and we should not leave this open. So let's go back. You have to take your time. See where the two parts are. Here is one part. Open. Close. Rotate a little bit. Ah, open. A little bit, open. Okay. So you grasp here, you grasp here. I think we nicely have it close. Not shoot. I think it's good. It's firm, so we can shoot. Isabella, shoot with all your force. Okay. So that's the first clip, which is very important. Here you see the diverticulum on the left side. And you can clearly see that we extended the myotomy pretty deep. And now we are closing uh, those ends as well with two clips on each side. At four months follow up, the patient had substantial improvement of his clinical symptoms. Here are the instrument and devices used. And this is recommended reading for Senkers diverticulum.